Petersburg server between these players. Let's get some champion picks on DM6. Doomslayer first by Spartan. Slash and Visor. Slash definitely expected. Nice to see some Visor getting picked here. And the absolutely awesome looking skin that Sparty has for Nyx. And he's going to have Anarchy as well. Things looking pretty standard. Looking pre-December patch picks for Sparty. Sniper's going to go for the Nyx follow-up. No visor for him to worry about. I said no such thing. My biggest fear is of miss saying stuff. Don't don't make me feel paranoid now. <laughs> I haven't done any votes. Crap, I should have done a poll on this one. I'll make sure I make sure I start doing polls on the next games, okay? Wondering if Doomslayer's had a lot of changes. His uh, combo's been nerfed. The range on his Berserk's been nerfed. Uh, so, yeah, there's been a lot to get used to as a Doomslayer player in this update. But, on DM6, such a mobility. Maybe still a great pick. Let's get this semi-final, though, of the game tribe. It's Jewel Cup number three. Uh, I know that people are always waiting to see a bit of Cypher action. So, I am going to head over to the first. We get some Mega Side. He's going to straight away get some intel. Hello. I see you. At the moment, really Sparty getting better damage. Oh, he just messed up his jump, though. He goes back up again. Cypher cannot find the angle. Cypher, more rails, used his piercing sight already. And he just keeps on landing these damn rail shots. Sparty is tremendously weak. So I'm trying to see where can he find it from. He's going to rocket jump up. He's going to engage here on the heavy. Sparty looking for a long distance so he doesn't have to go versus the LG. Going to try and move back again. And now it's LG on LG. Sparty's actually got a chance here. Sparty... He actually engineered that fight quite well. He was hoping to get away from that lightning gun range so he could go with him in a rail fight where he's actually probably got a better chance off hand uh, versus Cypher. I think Cypher tried to overcommit to that fight. He should have gone for those rail shots and tried to land some for himself. Good rocket. But Sparty now to go versus the Slash, which is always hard work. LG as well, and he gets his rail ticked out, I think. I don't know if he had any rail shots to go. Slash has had a few changes this update too. Uh, regular sliding speed has been slowed down. And I think that's had an impact on the speed also of Plasma Trail. She still has good mobility. have heard that there have been a couple of things with her slidings that have been a little less functional. But Cypher's making Slash good still. Hello, right next to you, forcing out the Ghost Walk. But there was a good initial damage. up with the LG. Sparty's still over there. Doesn't have the go He's got the Ghost Walk now, actually. He's done a lot of damage back to the Cypher. Well, heavy machine gun being looked for. Ooh, well, that was close. Sparty expected that damage. 
knows exactly where he is. Heard the lower armor getting taken. Let's try and cut off over that mega. Actually, not cutting off, just keeping that control going. Oh, he's looking for the tightest of angle. Very close first round between these two. Sparky kicking this. Nice and competitive. I think Cypher's just spotted Sparky over there. And if you weren't sure about update stuff, you can type in exclamation mark patch, by the way, and you can look at all the patch notes for the December update. Because there's been so many changes to the game. The game, it almost feels like a different game in itself. But there's been some optimizations. Nice FPS limiter. Spot a bit of trouble. For a bit of armor. Cypher trying to cut things off. I think he's heard where he is. Sparty's going to be able to crawl away. Didn't manage to find an armor. It hadn't spawned yet. These guys. Playing a close duel. So I'll uh, explain more on this stuff later. Another would have got the kill. Sparty playing with fire then. Really gambling on the fact that Cypher's like, not going to land anything. Even though he had the Ghost Walk available. He wanted to hold on to it. Mouse cable in my way. <laughs> and that, I think my translation is mouse cable. I think in a Swedish it's pronounced mouse kavla. Prepare to fight. Or something. Well, <laughs> He couldn't find a spot to stand still and just sort out his mouse cable. Poor boy. Oh, he's going to run into him now, looking for LG. Through the air. Lots of damage delivered by Cypher. Remember, this is his pick. Map picks now. Becoming ever so... Ever more important now that we've got five maps in the dual pool. And I like the system that Lord Soth has given us. With the pick, pick, drop, drop. Although in this specific roundup, the players weren't sure, so they had already started dropping, so they just went with that. Cypher's going to run to him. One bit of gauntlet damage. And unfortunately, he can't close it up with a gauntlet. Here's another thing to talk about. The gauntlet has been nerfed in this update. The rate of fire has been drastically reduced. Uh, also, the distance. You have to be even closer now to your opponent. Now, it's 25% in order to get the gauntlet to connect. It's noticeably harder to make that weapon work. Rocket, Sparty, and he's gonna lock down another kill. Cypher was king of round one, but Sparty could dominate now. Forces out the ghost walk. Oh, he's right in front. He switches over to the rocket and eventually gets a perfect LP switch and connects everything he needs to. Prepare to fight. Round begins in three, two, one. Round three, fight. We'll keep watching Sparty as he holds on to Doomstar. He's going versus Visor to begin with. Slow switch. He might have used the Berserk to get away, but Cypher's too quick. He got kind of held on the edge there and he didn't have the lightning gun out immediately because obviously he didn't want to give away the buzzing but it was just a, a flawless kind of pounce from Cypher I don't think he 100% knew that Sparty was going to be there but he improvised and adapted very easily, we're 40 seconds in and he's already got two kills he's got all the weapons and with just an anarchy to go it could be a short round 
No. <laughs> you can see through walls, but sometimes uh, you're at risk of doing that. I'm just going to try and put a bit of pressure on to armor. That's the shot he needs after the armor's taken. It's going to break away because Mega is up. One rocket, two. Tiny bit of damage. LG in the air. And surely Spotty goes down. That is so much LG damage. Prepare to fight. Yeah, you can't take wall hack, like, literally. Look at those rockets. Round begins in three, two, one. Fight. There is no Parkinson LG, as it were, guys. I like calling it that. It doesn't work that way. I'll explain how the LG works uh, in a bit. Oh my god, the damage type is doing. Oh, he can't quite hit anything. Another rail? Sparty cannot land. And Cypher will continue. Could be uh, another fast round, quite possibly. Pure observation, at least. And Cypher just needing this round, and he can set himself to an advantage moving to Vale of Nah. He's right above him. Hello? Another rocket. Oh, and he gets the rocket just as he goes into Ghost War. Timed very well from Sparty. This round definitely not over. Oh, it's a very ambitious rocket, and Cypher keeps hitting rails. One more. Oh, well, he doesn't need the rail. The rocket will do just fine. And there's going to be just anarchy left. Let me do explain the new LG. Well, hang on. Well, this round might be over in a second. Oh my god. Sparty just bounced around my rockets. There's no possible way for you to control your movement there. Cypher closes out round four and takes the first map. We'll move over to Dale in a moment. So I can explain the LG to you uh, a little bit more uh, now. The hitboxes and everything are also very relevant. At the moment, the hitboxes are pretty much pixel perfect around the character's, um, sort of like the character's model. And what the reason LG was different before or harder to hit is because it was just one pixel wide. So it's very easy to accidentally go kind of like between the armpits or between the shoulder blades and then the neck and the chin and everything like that it, because it was just, you had to be pixel perfect on the hitbox. So the small champions are obviously naturally harder to hit. Now what they've done is they've widened, uh, Christ, they've widened the width of the LG. So it's not one, I don't know how many pixels it is now, but it's wider than one pixel. So it's easy. Um, let's say you might be aiming, you know, just by accident, under the shoulder, in the armpit. But because now there's a few more pixels wider, it means that it connects with the arm or it connects with the torso so that it is connecting. So th that is essentially why LG is feeling better at the moment. Not that hitboxes have changed, changed but because of uh, LG width has changed. And it feels right, immensely improved. Prepare for draft. Uh, they're still going to be changing hitboxes. That doesn't mean they're not changing hitboxes. The, the hitboxes, I think, are hitbox changes are coming in January, February, something like that. Has rail width changed too? Not as far as I know. I I couldn't tell you. But we're on Vale at the moment. I'm curious to see what they pick. Um, similar picks from Cypher to before, except for no slashes goes with Anarchy. And I think we saw a keel from uh, uh, from Sparty. Uh, who, who knows how it's going to play? We're 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 going on an upward trend at the moment in updates. I think it's impossible to dispute at the moment that this update hasn't been a success. It has been successful. There's still some bugs to iron out for sure, but we're going on an upwards journey at the moment. I feel like 
now that you don't just die immediately off a rocket and a half. Fights are lasting a bit longer. You get to really experience Quake, quake a bit better. Um, it's, it's definitely been an improvement. Obviously, you can still argue for different rule sets and more changes and things like that. You're never going to be able to not improve. Holy crap, these skins. Oh my god. Let's get into map uh, two. I have not updated the scoreboard, so I'll do so very quickly as Cypher is one map up. Let's use the FPS there. So I'm back in game. Oh, Sparty doesn't want to get pushed in the cave. He, can, he knows he can walk all over the acid. That's a nice use of the acid spear, and Cypher walks all over the acid himself. Oh, it's the first blood for the Belarusian. There we go. Fat stacks for Anarchy. See how uh, Cypher's done his homework here on on Bale. Excuse my loud yeti drinking. Oh well, I'm just go towards Keel. Is he gonna show us the grenade swarm? Back her up. Ooh. It goes back up. I don't know if he wanted to do that. Oh, that is nasty damage you take from moving out of the jump. I haven't seen much of the grenade swarm. A little bit of damage comes out, but Sparty's already taken a heap of damage himself. There's no way he's going to be able to get over that. That was wishful thinking. Right. The next he does get onto Mega. Looking for bits of rocket splash. He's going to drop down. Oh, objection used. The chase continues. He's gonna find him. Oh, that last rocket was good. But we've got armor up in just a second. Oh, what a rail! He finds that angle just about. Gorgeous shot from Sparty. Not out of this one just yet. It's got the visor to go against. He sees the armor behind. He's like, no, it is a trap. Five seconds until heavy's up. The rocket. Perfect timing for Sparty. You always expect that. He he jumped as he was midair. It spawns. Lance takes it and gets off immediately. No hanging about, leaving myself vulnerable. And I think, really, that's a demonstration of how good you need to be with your timing. To go versus good players who also have some decent timing, where you minimize the damage you take on that little podium. Unfortunately for Sparty, though, he took heaps of damage afterwards, so he's kind of in a bad spot. Oh, and Cypher just walks around the corner. Lands an easy shot and takes the first round. Prepare to fight. Round begins in three, two, one. Round. Five for anarchy. Oh, he's got the main port weapons, and actually, with a nail gun, I'm going to be even more important. Got that to work with too. Oh, he finds a little clunker right at the end. Rocket. Good use of that. Misses out on a shot and it's weak and Sparty hits the important rail. Don't get your rockets perfect. Things like that can happen. Sparty didn't even use the acid spit. All the follow-up damage. Cypher just closing the gap. I think Sparty was hanging around for way, 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 way too long. I know he wanted to do some damage to sort of mitigate the effect of the Mega on Cypher's visor, but it was it was too much. It was a very, very ambitious move. Good 
rocket bounces. The Mega's up. Barty's able to take it. Boy's right behind. He's up. The bounce pad. He's going to go back again. Sorry. There we go. That's Sparty. Why aren't you getting the kill? He's run out of LG completely. Okay. That makes more sense. He's going to get the armor. The heavy spawns in a second. He just spotted uh, Cypher, so he's going to know he can take it. And Sparty's now in great shape. Whoa. Holding over the armor. Life is nowhere near. No challenge at all. Just trying to hit those ledges a little bit to get some good splash. Actually hits a rail. Spy just playing this carefully. Some more information. I was like, all right, I can take armor again for free. Oh, that was a huge rocket. Fall of damage is good. It forces out the ghost walk. That is going to allow Cypher to get on to. Well, this is this is really dangerous, actually, for Sparty. I don't know what he's going to do now. He's going to hope to get heavy, but Cypher might have timing on it. And if he does have timing, I don't know what he can do. Yeah, he hears Cypher now. It's just been taken. The spot is just hiding. He wants to ghost walk. He feels massively underprepared. He may have been heard now. He finds a couple of time shards. Just wants more rockets, but this is a quite a small trapped area. Right, Sparty could be in this. Ooh. Hey, you know, avoids any of the slime damage. Heavy's up. Oh, he's right below. Oh my god, Cypher. Figured it out. And it's going to be an easy kill for him in the end. Sparty really trying to play a, sl a slow, thoughtful game. But Sparty was discovered by Cypher. Great. Oh, one, that's one direct. And another one. LG again. Sparty's going to take him down. And that is going to be uh, 61 health left for kill, actually. And... Uh, Around each now. Prepare to fight. Round begins in three, two, one. Round three. Fight. Sparty on Solak. Oh, you missed that jump. Just about managed to make it out again. LG damage. He's got LG himself, but he wants to be careful. Going up in an LG fight versus an Anarchy is still an ambitious thing to do. He's running low on ammo. Gets a spit out. Good damage with the spit, but he's weak. And it's so nice for Solak to just be able to directly walk all over that spit. Oh, armor went over to Cypher. The, a rail. What a rail, but he gets telefracked. Oh, the pain. And Cypher was so weak as well. Good rocket. Cypher, though. Needs some HP. You can't jump behind that. I've already tried that a few times and it's like, no. Unless you're a Nyx or a Doomslayer or something like that. I don't know, maybe Clutch can do it? I'm not sure. I'm not going to get out through that gap. Oh, that follow-up. Injection straight after so he wouldn't have been vulnerable to just a one-shot kill. Watch out for the grenade swarm. 
I don't think there's any more grenades left for Sparty. He's only got 25 health. Cypher can smell blood already. Oh, what a rail switch. Very nice from, from Cypher. Prepare to fight. Round begins in three, two, one. Fight. Let's we'll check out Cypher again. Rocket to LG for the Mega. Sparty. Yep. Did. Did he hear that pickup? Oh, what? What the hell? What's that damage? Sparty got caught on the wall. He's going to find him again. This is a dead, dead Swede. Going for making a lot of good damage straight over to the heavy. I don't know if you heard it get taken necessarily. Ooh, just spotted Sawlag's tail. LG follow up. Oh, Sparty's just not hitting good enough rockets at the moment. It's gonna be another kill for Cypher. Boom! Jesus Christ! That dinosaur exploded pretty dramatically. Spotty trying to buy a little bit of space onto the heavy, but he's not. Oh, he is gonna get it. Has he got any weapons to defend himself with? That's a no. Should be a quick, quick map now. Is he gonna jump off the edge? No! <laughs> That's just how this map ends. Poor, poor Sparty. <laughs> yeah, it's just Swedish people and jumping out of that window at the moment. Although he did get pushed out rather than Faz jumping out. <laughs> well played though to Cypher who's put himself into the winner bracket finals. And now we will be blessed with... Let me have a look. With Razy versus Adrian. Oh, now the party leader, apparently. 